see. All right, so how can I just... What is this mini golf? I just want to... Oh, run a command. I'm just going to compose a whole bunch. Oh, Jasper's in the wrong place. It does that sometimes. It's a little temperamental. Yeah. Jasper's got an ego. Where can you play mini golf? Oh, this is like a frequently asked questions section. Hmm. Uh, let's keep going. I want a bunch of text to be able to check. By the way, this thing is called originality.ai. It's like a penny for 100 words. So if you want to check 100,000 words, I'm really bad at math. That's a $100, $10, and maybe even less. It was it was like $10 to check your whole website, Nico, which I haven't done yet. But I'm really curious to see what your whole website scores. So oh, I'm just going to go too. ahead, copy this part right here, and put it into originality AI. We'll remove some of the white spacing. And we're going to go ahead and scan it and see what it comes up with. So it also does a plagiarism check, which I really like. This is actually kind of cool that it does that as well. Um, let's actually go to the top place on Google. So how to play mini golf. Um, and then we'll check them also. So what is this, smuggler's golf? Yeah, and there's. we should start a mini golf blog because that has like no words. Really? Yeah. Like. Oh, wow. I could go to a mini golf course tonight and just take photos everywhere. All right, so <laughs> this tool knew that that was AI. That's really impressive. Dang. Um, let's do a new one. We'll do a new one of the one I just is ranking. I think what was it, number two? We'll see what it yeah, ranks. Yeah, behind the video. I wish we had an article that didn't divulge our keywords that we could that show we could that was rewritten with some AI. Yeah, so like it was created with AI, and then you go back through and you add your human touch, your spice. Yeah. Um, I, that would be really cool. It's thinking. Dang. It is really thinking. But you are right. I probably should spend less time on Twitter. Um, oh, wow. Dang. So it was like, yo, this is written by a human. Oh, that's, and it found the match, too. That's true. I was checking your website, and it found... it found it. One of them didn't even find your website, which I was like, I don't know if this plagiarism thing is working or not, because <laughs> this is literally from Nico's website. Um, but this is definitely working. Also, there was a bunch when I did it. This wasn't th there was an error here. It was like I had to scroll like five times to get past it. So maybe that's why I didn't. Hmm. Catch it. There's this is new too. This is like came out like last week. Um, it's December 5th right now. So this came out like I think the beginning of December, maybe a week before December. Uh, so if you're curious, this originality AI thing works very well. Like it just it said, hey, we generated something with AI. It said, yo, it's probably AI. We grabbed something else that probably wasn't AI, and it said, hey, it's probably not AI. So it's working really well. Hmm. And it found the website that's from. We'll have to try a fellow YouTuber's um, blog. I'm curious. I'm not going to say anything. But um, I, I might be interested to see their scores and what it looks like. Oh. And then attribute to their videos and see if there's a reflection. That would be interesting. Start checking some other people in the niche space that, of websites that we know and see if they're using AI content or how much they're using. Yeah. Which it did really good on yours because you you technically had it write some of the article and then you edit it. And like I said, the score it gave you was like 52%. So that's that's really cool how well this works. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not ashamed. We're going to get to the point where writers are using it proficiently to grow the site even higher. I will also add this. You shouldn't be ashamed. I've read some of your articles. They're good articles that feel like they were written by a human that cares about whoever's reading them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you shouldn't feel ashamed about your articles. You're adding that human spice. You're adding that connection feeling that, you know, right now AI is kind of sucking on. Um, so Except for chat GPT. When GPT-4 comes out, we might have some competition.